All right, so we did momentum. Uh, we studied um, momentum versus kinetic energy. And our purpose was to study whether momentum or kinetic energy of a falling object has a greater effect on it breaking through a material, and we used paper. So we had different uh, thoughts of what would happen. I thought that both kinetic energy and momentum would have the same, your kinetic energy, yeah, would have the same effect. And I thought that the kinetic energy would have a greater effect. So the equipment that we used, we had bricks, a hot glue gun, a softball, a baseball, a pool ball, and a lacrosse ball. Those were our four ball uh, dropping points that we used a tape measure to measure the height that we dropped it from, a camera lined uh, paper to break, a chair to stand on to drop the ball from, and longer prep. Here's a diagram. The setup, so we built four like pillars of bricks and we slid the paper in between the second and third row of bricks and the ball was dropped from the given height that we calculated and it tried to break through that. And we also put hot glue on all, in each, like sandwiched the bricks and the hot glue and the paper to make the paper have more grip. So the procedure, we had to first set up the brick clamp, then we would place uh, one sheet of paper in the clamp and glue it all down. Then we would drop the ball from the measured height, recording the drop. We would record the results, which were like if the ball broke through the paper or if it didn't. And then we repeated. So uh, we would then place another sheet of paper in, and drop the ball, record the results. And then we did that with we dropped balls with one sheet of paper, then two sheets of paper stacked, then three sheets of paper stacked. And then later we would do video analysis. And so the equations we used, we just used mi is mi f, the momentum equation, and then two forms of kinetic energy and potential energy. Oh, we have a video on, I mean, we'll show it at the end if that's okay. So our raw data, this is what typi a typical drop looked like if the ball did break through the paper. So here's our data. We, we found that for the two sheets, none of the balls broke through both sheets of paper, but the momentum or kinetic energy was transferred from the top to the bottom. So we saw if the, only the bottom sheet broke. So. You can see our results there, if it broke or if it didn't break. And so we made a fairly large data table with the drop height, mass, velocity, either what we found experimentally or what it should have been based on equations, the kinetic energy based on equations and calculated, and then the momentum. So our error analysis, so you can see our errors weren't too bad. We did error analysis on the velocity of the balls that we calculated from video analysis on Logger Pro. And we would take the velocities and compare to velocities that we calculated using the I equals me F. We saw what the velocity should have been based on the height and how far it dropped. And then we compared to the recorded velocity and we used those velocities to then do the air. We would plug the velocity in for momentum and kinetic energy. So that's how we got the uh, accepted versus experimental values of kinetic energy and momentum. And so we found some sorts of error. There, will be, there was air resistance on the ball for each drop and then so each ball was not the same size, so there was a different surface area for each ball, which could cause it to have more contact with the paper. 
and the materials were different. We had one ball, like it was a pool ball, so it was really dense, and then we had a baseball, which doesn't have much inside of it, just a cork. <clears throat> so we concluded that the kinetic energy and momentum of a falling ball have equal effect on <laughs> breaking the paper. And that's all. We have a video, but we're going to have to find it in the okay. drive. Thank you guys. Maybe we can look at that in a minute. <laughs> Are there any questions for these guys? Can you go back up to the data table? Yes. The fairly large one? No, go to the air analysis one. I was interested in that little table. Uh, I was noticing that your experimental values for both momentum and kinetic energy are all less than your accepted values. Can you speak to that? Well, I'd say that our accepted so the experimental values are based off of a lot. Some of the error there is we had to click on where the ball was each time. So I guess that the, the experimental values being smaller were us maybe underestimating where the ball was. How would you always underestimate, though? That's unlikely. I think this may be a systematic error rather than a random well, error. It's also because with the uh, system we had set up, you can't. You can only see like a sliver of the paper, so you can't tell the exact moment it breaks through the paper. You can only tell the moment it comes in contact. So it could have taken longer from the ball to go through the paper rather than to just make contact with the top sheet. Can you think of any other effect that may be causing both your momentum and your energy to be too low? Lower than you would have expected? How did you calculate kinetic energy and momentum? For the, what we used for the experimental, what did you do? Um, we, we used the velocity that we found from video analysis. Ah, both of those hinge on velocity. Yeah. yeah. So your velocity is too low. Yeah. Why? Yes. Um, because of the video analysis, like. I don't think so. From error resistance. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Um, thank you, gentlemen.